All right, so here we have the Roborock S7 Max V. So here we're gonna do a comparison of uh, three different brushes. Biggest complaints uh, with the Roborock S7 Max V is its performance on carpets, uh, certain style carpets with dog hair. Um, in general, any pet hair, any hair like that. So what we have here, we're gonna compare the difference in the performance between these three brushes. So this is the original brush. This is what's gonna come with the Roborock S7 Max V and this is currently the only official available brush for it. Uh, so what I have here is, so this is from the new Q5 Roborock Vacuum. So this brush is a little different than the S6 models. Uh, it's a little more uh, thinner so it's able to actually fit because it's the same dimensions and width as the S7 Max V. So this brush, I just got it in a few days ago. This one should fit on there. I already tested it out. Seems to fit well. I haven't tested its performance, but we'll see how that goes. Now this one here, this is a custom brush I actually made. I've been using this for a few months now. This brush has worked very, very well. Picking up all the dog hair uh, off of my low, low profile carpets. As you can see here, we got it ready. Plenty of dog hair. We're gonna do the same test for all three and see how they perform. Um, so I made this brush actually, uh, I took two different brushes and I use parts off of one. As you can see, these are these are pretty stiff bristles right here. These are extra soft, and then right here we just have the regular rubber that comes with it. So I was able to cut to fit, and this has been performing really well. And I also have the Ultra Dock, and this has been also performing very well as far as uh, emptying the vacuum. Uh, it hasn't caused any issues emptying the vacuum, which I'm assuming this one shouldn't cause any issues either. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, test them out and see how they do. We'll, first one, we'll start off with uh, the original and then we'll go from there. Okay, so original brush is in. So what we're gonna do, it's gonna be all, all three of them are gonna be on max suction and we're gonna do three passes. Um, Cause usually the first pass, even with the best brush, it doesn't pick up everything. Usually it requires at least two passes. So we'll do all the same tests and uh, see how they perform. So as you can see, the stock rubber brush doesn't do all too well of a good job. I'd say it probably picked out maybe about a little over 50% of the hair. Uh, as you can see, still quite a decent amount of hair visible on the carpet itself. Um, so this is the original rubber brush. Not so good on the carpet. Does a phenomenal job on hardwood floor or any vinyl floor or anything like that. But as far as low profile carpet, not Stop. that good. We're gonna be trying out the new Q5 brush. So this is kind of similar, just like the S6 and any models before. Similar brush like that, just thinner, so it fits the S7 Max. So the Q5 brush, much, much better performance than the stock. Uh, as you can see, still very minor hair left over. Uh, I'd say probably close to 90% efficiency. Uh, majority of the hair, as you can see here, was picked up. Uh, that's going to be the Q5 brush for the Q5 Roborock vacuum that just came out uh, about a month ago. Um, so as you can see, definitely much better performance. Last but not least, uh, 
This is gonna be my custom brush. Like I said, with the stiff brush sole, uh, this has been my main brush for the last few months. Uh, I've been getting pretty good performance from it. So we'll see how this one goes. So custom brush, once again, way, way better than the stock. Uh, this one, as you can see, pretty much the best performance overall. I'd give it probably 96, 97%. A uh, few very minor hairs left behind. Uh, overall, excellent performance. Uh, so definitely, if you're looking for a replacement brush, uh, I would highly recommend the Q5 brush from the Q5 Roborock Robo Vacuum. Uh, fits great, uh, no issues with uh, self-empty, brush works great, uh, it's available on Roborock's website, you can order it, uh, I believe I paid uh, maybe 18 bucks, uh, so definitely I'll also put in uh, instructions in case if you want to make the custom brush, um, that one probably costs a little more, overall I'd say I paid 30 bucks between uh, or ordering two different brushes uh, just to make the one. But either way you go, uh, the Q5 or the custom brush, they'll definitely do much better on carpets as compared with the stock brush that comes with it, which is uh, all rubber. Um, all three do excellent job on any other hardwood floor. It's just the carpets where the rubber brushes lack quite a bit. All right, any questions, any comments, anything, feel free. Uh, post in the comment section if you need any further information. I'll be happy to provide that and Also want to especially thank our hair generator. This is Charlotte. Charlotte's been uh, providing us all the hair for today's test. Thank you again, Charlotte